Hi everyone and welcome to your channel. Yesterday I covered Notebook LM from Google and we also saw hands on how you can create podcast, lectures and study guides with the help of this free tool from Google. If you don't know what Google's Notebook LM is, it is a tool for understanding where you upload your sources like your PDF files, your documents or you give a link to your own websites. And then with the help of it and Gemini model at the back end, it creates podcast or any other multimedia content for you. You can also give uh, YouTube videos as a source now and we saw it yesterday in a hands on demo. So if you're interested, just go to my channel and search it out. I believe that this Google's Notebook LM is a new frontier because it enables you to analyze videos and lectures, making connections with audio recording and lot of other stuff. True to its core, open source is not far behind. Someone has just released this open Notebook LM and that is the topic of this video. I will drop the link to this new tool in video description and you can play around with it. Before I show you the demo of this new tool and we talk about it, let me also thanks the uh, sponsor of this video, which is Agent QL. Agent QL are sponsoring this video. Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. Use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. Now coming back to this open note notebook LM, this is running Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model at the backend plus the Mellow TTS which is a text to speech model. We have covered both of these separately in great detail on the channel so if you're interested just search with these keywords now if you look at it what it is doing sim simply it is taking your pdf files only pdf files at the moment as an input and you can even paste a url of your own and then you can just give any topic of your choice you can choose the tone it could be fun or formal and then you can choose the length medium is three to five minutes or you could go with the short one and then you can choose the, the language and there are a lot of languages including hindi polish portuguese turkish uh, chinese german and few others and then you can also use advanced audio generation which is experimental uh, but i would suggest that for the free because this is just using the free t4 gpu so sometime it just struggles to cope with it so for now let's not do it the simple hugging face space which is running on um, hugging face hosted platform so let me upload one of my pdf file from my local system and then we are going to play with it I'm just going to upload one PDF file. Let me quickly check out my local system and grab that file. And this is just a my PDF dot PDF. It contains my own personal data. I'm also going to give it a URL of my own website. I'm just going to say HTTP. Okay, this sounds cool. And then it said, do you have a specific questions or topic in mind? I'll just give my name and then choose that uh, tone formal. I'll just keep it one to two minutes just to uh, for the experimental purposes, of course. And then let's submit it. OK, so you see, it says there is a long cube request. So my request is pending. So let's wait for it. Of course, I can duplicate this step and then I would need some uh, I would need to pay hugging face in order to uh, get it working. But you see, I am there's a Q47 by 47. So I will wait for it to see if it will let me do something quickly. Otherwise, we'll move forward. But you already have got the idea as how it works. But other than that, let's wait for it to see how quickly that goes. Also, make sure that 
whatever content you are uploading is not more than 100,000 characters because this is this matches with the context length of this Lama 3.1 billion context length means that this is the amount of data which this model can handle at one point in time. Okay, so while it uh, runs, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are also sponsoring the video and they are running this um, hack to 2024 at the moment where you can submit your entries for free. You can submit any LLM generated text or any LLM generated image or images or both and you stand a chance to win $100 in free GPU. I will be one of the judges there. So I will, I'm really looking forward to see your creativity and innovation in this Hacktober 2024 and I will drop the link to it in video's description. It is still running as you can see that now after almost 35 to 40 minutes it's my turn on this free GPU. It is processing my request at the moment and this processing has been running for the last I would say 5 minutes or so. So if you are also trying to use it make sure that you have plenty of time at least an hour or so because and that is for this small bit of data because this pdf file has just one paragraph that's about it but still it is taking long time anyway i will um see, there you go so as i was talking it has done it so let me quickly play it for you okay so let's welcome play it to out. our podcast today where we'll be talking to Fad Mirza about his journey in AI and cloud engineering. Fad, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Jane. I'm excited to be here. So, Fad, let's start with your background. You've been working in AI and cloud engineering for over a decade. What sparked your interest in this field? Ah, uh, great question, Jane. I've always been fascinated by technology and innovation. I started my career in it, and as I worked with the potential of AI and cloud engineering in transforming businesses. So you see, one of course the major difference is the voice. I think, um, I don't see how can I provide it the gender, because it's not mentioned in my um, blog or in my in this website which I given, or in that a PDF file. So, but I think I. Uh, did mention here and there so anyways i think there should be a way to specify the gender here or it should be more intelligent to get the gender anyway but other than that looks really cool that it has generated this podcast another interesting bit is that it definitely has picked up the data from my website because it is talking about some of the conferences where i have spoken around um, the world previously so which is quite interesting so all in all pretty good um the only drop drawback or should i say thing which is not good is that we don't have any source so i cannot install it locally and play around with it also it does uses this huge humongous model that so would be good to use it with some maybe llama 3.211 billion or something like that or maybe uh, any smallish model so that we could get it installed on one GPU locally and then play around with it and I don't see it is open source but I don't see any source code here so which is a bit of a bummer anyway all in all a good effort hopefully this person or maybe someone else would create a true open source project out of it share the source code and the instruction then we will be able to install it locally and then with a local model of course and then also do the same thing and i'm more than sure that time is not far away so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching